Welcome back, everybody. Bring you guys a new video today. And as you guys know, E3 is just around the corner. And as you guys know, if you don't know what E3 is, all the gaming companies go to this big event. They go to the new games, upcoming new games, or DLCs. In the future, they, uh, they reveal their new game they've been working on, or any company that has been working on the game, and reveal it at E3 to the game they've been working on in DLCs. Basically, what you forget. I just know what the schedule is. Um, the schedule is uh, EA Play is June 7th to the 9th live stream schedule, TBA, Microsoft, June 9th at 1 p.m. PT, 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. BST, 10 p.m. CST. So that's on June 9th. Bethesda is on June 9th at 5.30 p.m. PT. 8.30 p.m. Eastern, June 10th at 1.30 a.m. PST, 2.30 a.m. So, uh, Ubisoft is at June 10th at 1 p.m. PT, 4 p.m. Eastern, and 9 p.m. in the UK. So, that's pretty much all the discussions. I think that that's false information. I'm sorry about that, because I was going to get another article on Twitter and stuff when the E3 is. No, Microsoft is on June 9th. I know that for sure. As you guys know, um, Halo started really play, started playing Xbox or anything. You know, you started playing Halo and stuff. So, uh, it's, it's crazy to see how far Xbox has gone and the Halo franchise brought Xbox players to be a gamer. Because Halo is a big game for Xbox and it's, it's exclusive. So, yeah, when you think of Xbox, you think of Halo because it's one of the most popular games on Xbox. Halo is undoubtedly the game that brought the gamers to the Xbox system. In fact, I owned a Nintendo GameCube until I played Halo at a friend's house. I mean, really trade in my system to get a Xbox from Halo 2 and 3 bought so much excellent to online gamers to watch. Fans are still hooked on the series over a decade later. Although the games have fallen off track a few times, Halo 5 was a nice return to form, and Microsoft's looking to build on the bet to goodwill with the next story of Halo Infinite. The game was first teased at E3 last year. But comicbook.com is reporting that there should be should be a much heavier focus on the title at this year's conference. This is coming from a website. According to a rumor from on um, the legal industry inside of Microsoft planning to showcase a new Halo Infinite jump and overbuild the game is aiming at a holiday 2020 release. Rumors also claim that the game will be released on both the Xbox One and the next Xbox system and PC. The new Xbox system is expected to also make an appearance, appearance at this year's E3, which means fans may be able to watch it with it as it performs on next gen power and graphics. So uh, I'm guessing the new Xbox Two is going to be released. They're going to showcase it like they did the Xbox Scorpio. I read the article, it's on Twitter, I mean, that's not what I said when I played the GameCube or anything. I did play the GameCube, but uh, most of my friends play like, the original Xbox, and I got into the PlayStation 2, and uh, I started to get the, the first Xbox, uh, Halo 2, Halo, Halo CE, that was the shit, like the best game ever. Halo was a really good game back then, I really hope it brings back, I wish, I hope Halo Infinite at this year's E3, we get a trailer. It gets people excited to come back to Xbox. Because a lot of people on PS4 because you know, they're exclusive for Call of Duty and stuff. PS4 is a much better console and has better graphics and stuff. So Xbox, hopefully the Xbox 2 can beat the PS5 and hopefully the Xbox. Microsoft can prove what they can do, prove they have the best. So uh, I also want to talk about Halo Infinite and what I want in it. And me and Arbiter from SB, four of us, we were talking about Halo Infinite, so I brought this up. Halo Infinite needs. We're gonna talk about the campaign first. Um, it needs, we need a good campaign, good graphics, smooth and fluid as possible. We need a good storyline, and it needs as good as Halo 2, Halo C, and the rest of the Halos. And if it's that good, we'll be set to go. Player. Um, I like Halo 5 multiplayer, but 
felt like it was more like a like they just slapped down a piece of metal and they just called it a map for each of these maps on Halo 5 and I feel like all of them rushed and I feel like this wasn't really made really slowly and not meant I feel like this game wasn't really meant, like it wasn't made slowly it was rushed and made and they didn't take their time on the development of this game they rushed everything rushed the cameras rushed the maps the content and stuff so I feel like the forge or something like it feels like you're playing multiplayer because they both look the same and I hate I hate the feeling when both modes are the same because I feel like they tried less. So, multiplayer, um, I don't want I don't want supply drops or wreck packs. I don't care if they keep that in, just make it where you can earn it in game only and not buy it. Just put camos only, don't put any you know, weapons that take advantage. Pay to win, just put weapon skins and maybe uh, armor skins, outfit skins, and weapon skins only. And uh, be, be good to go. And then maybe Halo 5, Halo Infinite releases like DLCs every couple weeks, maybe every month, maybe. Have a new DLC drop, and you can get camos and camos and rec packs. Have like DLCs towards rec packs, so have rec packs. And for like DLCs, so we can earn stuff through events and stuff. So that's like. So, um, as you guys know, uh, Black Ops, you guys, Call of Duty Black Ops support, they do like these operations and they have like a battle pass and stuff. So, I want like Halo to do that, but without the COD points and out the, without buying anything, just turn everything in game and grind everything in game. And, uh, Halo Infinite came out with a battle pass, that would probably be pretty cool. So, I'm not going this game. So, I'd say I have about at least. 50 to 100 tiers. Have it where you can look at weapon skins, assassinations, and outfits, new outfits. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I just want the, the multiplayer campaign to be as smooth as possible, no pay to win, solid multiplayer, smooth, uh, fluid weapon skins. I want everything to be the same as Halo 5, but like. More, like, more effort into the game. Way more effort. So they've been working on this game since probably after, even before, after Halo 4. Like, like 20 or 14 or 15. So they've been working on this game for about five years now. So it should be the best game. And I heard this is like one of the most paid Halo games ever. So it's the most expensive Halo game they've made so far for Halo Infinite. So really excited, really nervous at the same time. So hopefully Microsoft can bring a show at E3. They can prove themselves what they've been working on for so long and prove them prove themselves they can still make a good Halo game. So I'm really excited for this Halo game. I hope it's good. I really want Warzone to come back with Flood, maybe a custom Flood, make your own Flood. Maybe players can release their own Floods and they come out to the community so we can play it. So we get a Warzone, same Warzone as Halo 5 but extend it more. Put the flood, put more modes, put when the events come out, so for DLCs, add more modes, update it every day. Not every day, but every, at least update every other day, add new stuff, and make sure to fix the bugs before adding any new content. So uh, that's all I got to say about Halo Infinite. I mean, what I want, this is what I want to be in Halo Infinite, this is what I want to see, and if we don't see it, it's okay, I guess. Um, we'll see what 343 Industries has planned. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, leave a like hit the subscribe button. Let me know you guys comment below if you guys are excited for E3 and Halo Infinite. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.